Hey guys, you're over here in today's video. I'll talk about some Halo news that happened this week. So if you're new to the channel, give a like, share, and subscribe because it helps a lot so it can continue to grow and improve the quality of the content. So let's get into the video. So first year, uh, it was announced that the Halo TV show will be delayed to 2021. It was first going to air this year, but maybe because of some development issues or something, they had to delay it to 2021. But I think that this is for the better because we don't want to have like a bad TV series of Halo. At least if they delay it, it will happen like after Halo Infinite launches because this can cause a lot of bad impressions because a lot of people maybe just like see Halo for the first time on this TV series and then they decide to play the games. But if the TV series is bad, they may assume that the games are also bad. So it's better for them to delay it and even if it is bad, at least it launches after Halo Infinite. And also, for Trainer, she's just confirmed the flighting for Halo Season 6 to happen this weekend. I already played it and it's looking very good. Probably it is passing a gameplay right now of it on screen. And it is looking very promising. The whole map is very, very good. The waterfall. I haven't played Edge yet. A lot of people are saying that it isn't that good and it's like very big because they, like, because in Halo 3 they don't have sprint. And they're saying that this is causing some problems. So, I'm not sure, I, ha I haven't played the map yet, it's very difficult to find it on matchmaking. But still, Waterfall is looking very promising, and we'll also have some new armor that they released that is also looking very good. I'll make a whole video talking about the armor. And in general, it is looking very good this season, and her team interests also, also talked about more Halo Infinite. They gave some news, so the Inside Infinite post that they make every month, so they make now on the end of February. And they talked a lot about Zeta Halo and what they're trying to do with it. So they showed us more concept art, some new images, all of them looking awesome. And also Joseph stayed and talked about what the game will be specifically because some people are saying that it will be an open world game. Other people are saying that it will be just a traditional Halo, so more linear style. But he said that it will have some characteristics of open world games, but still you won't see Master Chief hunting animals around to make leather boots. So basically he's saying that it won't be an open world, world game, it will be still a sandbox shooter, but with some open world elements. That is very interesting to see how this mixture will go, but I think that it will probably go well. I, I trust a lot to for changes now with all this new information, Halo MCC Season 6. And the fact that they're being so open with the community shows that they aren't trying to hide something from us. Like maybe they are, are hiding and they're hiding it very well. And this is why we don't think that they're... No, no, for, forget it, forget it. They're probably hiding nothing from us, probably. So I'm I very confident that they'll bring us an awesome, pro awesome product that will be Halo Infinite. And I'm very excited for it. And also... They gave us a new screenshot of Master, like of Master Chief holding a sniper rifle inside the game. So this one's like basically, basically someone that that was playing the game from Truth for Truth took a screenshot and it was put it on this post, and it's looking very awesome and even better compared with the July event that we had that a lot of people criticized the visuals. Like the July event, I don't think that it had as bad visuals, but still, for a next gen Halo game, it wasn't good enough. But now, now we can see the good effects of the delay, and like I'm very happy that for Train Industry delayed the game, because they don't want like imagine if they had hadn't delayed the game, and now we had a Halo Infinite that doesn't looks good, and also has a lot of bugs. So I'm very happy that they delayed it. It's still like an, a little bit annoying that we'll have to wait more, but like at the end when the when it launches, we'll be very happy with the end product because it had more time to work in with it and also we can see that the delay in general uh, it seems to be, to be something that was very needed for the game to be launched well because we, we can see like the big difference now they that they have more time of how they how they're improving the graphics and working more in the campaign they said than on the multiplayer probably because the multiplayer in general is already finished the, it just needed a little bit more polish fixing some bugs but but they talked about also about the flying that they'll be doing about healing infinite. Then I'm very excited because the game will launch like on November 15, I think. But they already confirmed that we'll have flighting for it. That will probably come month before. 
so we will be able to test it out before it if it even launches and will be most probably the, the multiplayer because it is the one that is almost finished and i'm very excited when we are able to test it out and finally we also have the big question that i think that not a lot of people are talking about the fact that we now have all the all the pretty graphics and things like that but how will it like look like on the older gen consoles? Because all these graphics that they're showing is from a PC. And probably a very high-end PC. So how will this will look like on mo on most of the consoles that people are playing? Like can you know how how many Series X's and S's Microsoft will sell? But with with the way that things are now, most people will be playing it on a Xbox One and a PC. And most people don't have a high-end PC with the new RTX because it's impossible to buy it and but anyways like they're running it on a very very high-end pc we don't even know if we, if we'll be able to run on on older gen consoles now because maybe they can run it but it will look like very bad like i just i don't want like another cyber cyberpunk style launch that simply runs like poop on older gen consoles so if it like, I want them to release some footage of how it is running on Xbox One. And if it ain't running well, at least that they, like, delayed the older gen versions. Because, like, i just a little bit afraid of what they, it may look like on the Xbox One. So, I think that this was video, give a like, share, and subscribe. Because it helps a lot the channel. So, it can continue to grow and also improve the quality of my videos. So, see you in the next video. Peace.